M0FXB, welcome to my video on the Shawcom SF103 frequency analyzer. About £45. They've actually been out for a few years. It's for VHF UHF 2 to 200 megahertz and 2.7, no, 20, 27 megahertz to 2.8 gigahertz. And it does say that it's for digital modes as well. Now, there are digital selections in here. So I'll turn it on while we're unboxing because it looks so much nicer. It is a lovely screen to look at. So you just hold down the red button for a few seconds. You're presented with this screen. But let's firstly see what's in the box. We've got the belt clip that we're going to screw on the back now. And you do get a charger, just like a 5 volt charger for your, like for your phone. Unfortunately, micro USB-C, not USB-C, but I do have an adapter here. So I shall, I shall be using that. And it charges really quick and the battery lasts for ages. Let's get everything out of the box. You can download the instructions as well. And there is an instruction manual inside. So belt clip, a couple of screws in this bag. Charger. Oh yeah, the antenna, which of course, you know, you don't have to use this antenna. But it seems like a very basic BNC connection, as you can see. And the instruction manual is actually exactly the same as what you would see if you download them online. It's a colour manual. I think that the information is there that you need. The only thing I would have liked more information on is the digital side. Now on the back, I can see there's a screw there that you can turn. And within the instruction manual, it does talk about, you know, adjusting parameters. And I'm guessing that these two holes are for my belt clip, which is now installed. OK, and we'll put the BNC antenna on there. We won't need the charger yet. And we'll look at the manual more closely at the end. So let's just turn it off, start again. So when you charge this, put your micro USB connector in here. Got my adapter there. Push that in. It goes red and when it's fully charged, it's green. Nice and straightforward. You've seen the antenna. Quality wise, I, mean, I don't think it would break if you dropped it, but it's very light. So hold down the F1 first. And then it says powering, gives you the make model. And the, there is actually a website, although it's very brief. So I'm going to turn on my hotspot as well that I've got in the background. And I know that's a digital hotspot, DMR, but I'm going to put it on as well. And that hotspot's made by DV Mega. So on the front, you can see it says 2 to 2800 megahertz frequency counter SF03. It's already started picking up. Let's see what the frequency is. Now, I find that it's not exactly accurate, but you can adjust parameters and it turns on straight away in analog mode. And so let's just have a look what we are seeing. F1 says 4315498. I know that's my DMR uh, frequency slightly out. It's 550 um, and the same beneath. CTCSS because we're in analog mode and we've got the range there which says 27 megahertz to 2.8. So yes, it will detect CB and I'll test that. Then you've got this gate figure that you can adjust. Now, I'm not clear what the gate figure says. It's in the instruction manual. So I'll just show it here. And it's it says here, frequency display resolution, CTCSS, DCS, decode frequency range. And then it shows this. Now the gate time selected, seconds. Is that how long it takes before it decides to decode. And you've got it there for the selection, whether you're using, where is it? 27 to 2.8 or 2 to 200 megahertz. So someone tell me what they think the, the gate means. I've noticed in digi mode, when you do select digi in a minute, it doesn't really make any difference. It still selects, to me, it's still selecting in exactly the same way. And in the manual, you've got setup frequency counter, digital, analog, how to adjust, it's all the instructions are there. Let's go through it. So as soon as you put it near any device, I'll unplug my hotspot actually a minute because I want you to see it with an analog device. And we haven't changed the boot up settings at all here. So one, four, five and all the zeros. Quickly key up and you get strong signal and I don't know why it's showing 290. Isn't that strange? Let me just get, get a bit further away from it. All right, if I just transmit on 434, M0FXB test. 
it's slightly out you can see that yeah ctcss as well or dcs it will decode that depending on what you've turned on i've just turned on the dcs there you are 23 so it's showing the dcs now let's get it to just it's in c4fm mode now and look it still picks it up yeah no problem of course there's no dcs let's change it to digital you press F2, which stops everything. Then here it says F3. And when it says F3, you can move across to this list. F3. Once you're in this list, you can move down the list. Okay. And notice that CTCSS is enabled. Here you can set the, the blue one, which is just here. You can set whether you're 27 megs or 2.8. Now, I think if you're using... To, you know 145 megahertz change this uh, which will in a sec but then we just go down to analog so we're going down with the f3 and we can change from analog to digital now i noticed that in digital the gate ones do not work and then it turns off ctcss dcs and i'd expect that so let's just leave it in digital so to go to carry on running we'll leave it in digital for a minute F2 to make it start again. Then we'll key up on one, um, 434, but we're in digital mode. See that now? Yeah, it's slightly out. But can you see, I don't see any difference to if I go to analog mode. There are, we're now in analog. It doesn't read the DCS anymore. So now let's go... I'll show you that bit in a minute. It's back out of that. Back is like the red button or the power button, which you can hold off to hold down to turn off. So let's go. We always have to remember to stop when we want to start making changes. Then we'll go. So stop up and down or oh, confusing myself now. Up and down. Get to the blue selections. Change it to 200 megahertz. Then I'm going to hit run. Okay, so now I'm going to select 145000. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, and now it's working. Yeah, it's slightly out. In fact, it's quite a lot out. <laughs> but it is working. And you'll see it sort of saves what it, you know, the last thing, the F2, 144. It's showing it there. Right, let's have a look at what this about is. About, yeah, it literally just tells you about it. Frequency counter for analog, digital, DMR radio. Now, I've tried, obviously, my my hotspot is DMR, and you just saw me there testing it with C4FM, so I'll plug that back in, keep it close, so it should find it. But it doesn't show your DMR ID. It doesn't show what slot you're on, what color code you're on, so I, I, I feel like that's doesn't do anything um, and then you've got two to 200 megs and then max direct input yeah they're saying you shouldn't really have them close together because you could break it sort of thing which is fair enough yeah if we just press f menu you get this selection and it actually says up and down here so if we go down now the date and time no sorry the dim time power off adjustment i get DET level, gate, DMR adjust. I don't actually know what that does, but let's just say you wanted to adjust one. You just press F2, and then now you can change, and then back to F2. And then to come out, you just press the red button, and it saves. Okay, so if someone's used this and has better results than I have on digital, let me know. So at the moment we're in analog, so let's go back down our up and down our list. We'll hit stop. Up and down our list. We'll enable CTCSS. We'll change it to digital actually, because my hotspot's right next door. So we've changed it to digital. We'll get my hotspot right next to it. Not quite picking anything up yet. So and it is transmitting. Let's change, no, 27 to 200. 
sorry, 27 to 2.8, really 77 should pick that up. I'm gonna get the antenna and put it right next to it and see if that helps. I know what I've done wrong, my mistake, I should have pressed run, okay? It's completely my mistake, I should have pressed run. Okay, so we'll go stop and then we'll go run. Wait for someone to transmit here. Oh, of course, it could be a radio, but I just think it's more cooler using the hotspot. There you are. And it is on 431550, and that is coming up as accurate. And we're in digital mode, so we're not showing any CTCSS. But you, it still works if you're not in digital mode. So if I press stop, stop, then up and down. And let's go stop. It's like when you're in digital, it doesn't let you go up and down. You have to change to analog. Now, now it lets me go up and down. See that? So we're staying analog and then we'll click run. It's a, Remember, it's a digital transmission that we're receiving now. So, you know, it does pick up my hotspot when it's in analog mode. But let me just show you an example because this is a 50 pound item. These are like under £20, and this is the new Bofun K6, very similar to the Quashang, but it's not a Quashang, it's a Bofun, yeah? So if I hold down, they've got a uh, built-in function called search, yeah? And there is one on the Quashang, I'll show that separately in another video. But if I hold down scan, this is this button here, or frequency search, it's not scanning, it's searching, yeah? Look, it finds my hotspot straight away, and if I hold down the hash button, it will find my a VHF hotspot, not that I've got one here. So, and this is a transceiver under 20 pound. This is 50 pound. Yeah, it's got a lovely color screen and we like color screens. We definitely do like color screens. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna judgment on it, but you tell me what you think, yeah? So, but anyway, you got the idea about how to use it. Power off, stop and run. You've got your F menu. You can change parameters. Exit with that button. You've got your about. And then the main one is, if you go back, is to stop and go up and down the list. Change those parameters. If you're in analog, if you choose digital, it doesn't want to go up and down the list. Okay? But if you have to go back to analog and then you can change parameters and enable... Uh, and F1 and F2 seems to show the previous frequencies. So I think I'll leave it there. My next video is going to be showing you how to search and scan, just like we are now, with the K6 and the Quashang UVK5, which is not the same radio. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my video on the Surecom SF103 color screen frequency counter. Bye for now.